The piñata is a colorful paper mache object, typically filled with candy or small toys, then suspended high from a string. Blindfolded partiers take turns trying to hit the piñata with a stick to break it open and release a shower of goodies. From popular cartoon characters to colorful glittery shapes, today's piñatas are a big hit at kids' parties, where children eagerly await the decisive blow that breaks open the piñata, releasing the treats inside. The traditional way to build one starts with a clay pot suspended from a string. The piñata maker glues cardboard shapes to it and secures them by gluing on pieces of newspaper. Then she covers the rest of the pot. When the glue dries, she decorates the surface with colorful paper. The modern method is to use a balloon instead of a clay pot. After inflating the balloon, she pastes pieces of newspaper all over it. This technique is known as paper mache. The trick is to completely saturate the newspaper with the thick paste and make sure no part of the balloon is left uncovered. She continues this process until she's built up two or three even layers of newspaper all over the balloon. Then she suspends it from a clothespin to dry. Hours later, the paper mache has hardened into a shell around the balloon, which she now breaks and removes. Next, she cuts an opening at the top of the shell. This is the hole through which the buyer will fill the piñata with treats. She'll later reattach the cut piece to make a trap door. But first, with the sharp tips of her scissors, she pierces a row of holes along the circumference and threads twine through them. She leaves long ends at the top with which to suspend the piñata. This piñata will be star-shaped. To make each point, she rolls thin cardboard into a cone, taping it closed. She trims it to the required size, then cuts tabs at the base and bends them back. She makes seven of these cardboard points then tapes them onto the shell one by one. Once all seven are positioned, the decorating with colorful glittery foil wrapping paper can begin. She tapes a sheet around each point of the star Then she applies glue in between the points and adheres pieces of wrapping paper to those areas. She folds other pieces into flower shapes and glues them on as well. Once the entire piñata is covered, she tapes matching streamers to the end of each point. Historians believe Spanish missionaries used star piñatas like this one to convert the native peoples in the Americas to Christianity. The star symbolized Satan, its seven points, the seven deadly sins, its beautiful colors, temptation. Wearing a blindfold represented blind faith in God. Striking the piñata with a stick meant goodness and virtue battling evil. Breaking the piñata and releasing a shower of treats or trinkets symbolized heavenly reward.